grind, you know, definitely was a grind. But um, just stacking those days, um, I feel like paid off for me to be in the position that I am right now, you know, healthy and uh, able to contribute to the team and, you know, go through our camp and just having a good camp. You had that day you guys know with a couple interceptions, a big hit today. At what point would you say throughout this whole process did you start to feel like yourself again? Um, after OTAs. Um, I wanted to do OTAs just to get that feel so I wouldn't have to, you know, wait to camp and be banging with guys and feeling my body out. So um, right after OTAs, you know, just going through that, going through that grind and cutting and breaking and doing all of that and, um, you know, just feeling my body again. And uh, once I came back, you know, just did the off-season training and rehab and definitely felt good coming into this camp. Kyle was, was saying today that uh, during practice, he's okay with guys being chippy and irritating to each other and pushing buttons and just taking it, but taking it right to the edge and not crossing the line like it kind of did the last practice. Right. But how difficult is that a line to straddle sometimes when you're competing and motions are running? Uh, I feel like we definitely handle that well. Um, you know, we're a tight knit group here, so we know we know each other pretty well. We know what buttons to push and what lines to cross, but it's always competitive, you know, when we get out there. And I think all our guys know that, you know. Um, it gets chippy sometimes, but it's never any malicious intent or anything like that. It's just guys love to play football and guys love to compete. So we just feed off of that and we make each other better each and every day. Oh yeah, I mean, it definitely starts with those linebackers. You know, Fred being the leader of the defense. Um, you know, him, Aziz, Dre, how they just come to work each and every day, setting that tempo, you know, flying around to the ball. And we just feed off of that, you know, D-line, whether it be Nick or, you know, just any of those D-line, I mean, you know, just watching them and how aggressive and violent they are. I think we just feed off of that as a whole, you know, and it just carries on. Um, it definitely gives me a lot of similarities to 2019. Um, you know, just how we get into the quarterback. Um, everybody playing assignment football and just doing their job, you know what I'm saying? And then we see the results each and every day. You know, we had a day where we had, um, you know, just a, a lot of sacks, a lot of turnovers, TFL, stuff like that. So it just really gives me that 2019 vibe. And I just hope we continue to grow, you know, just continue to go forward. What I've seen from Trey is just really just his progression, just getting quicker in his progression, knowing that, you know, sometimes he's going to be under the rest, so he has to find his hot throws and, and things like that, and him just getting on those pages with his wide receivers, you know, him and B.A. clicking really well. Um, definitely a lot different from what I seen last year, so just a lot of his progressions, just reading the defense way faster, hitting his check downs, hitting the, making the right reads, and um, the D-line just making him better, I feel like, you know. Um, when the preseason comes and when the regular season comes, it'll definitely pay off. Look like there was, um, you guys have had so many PBUs and interceptions and stuff from the early part of camp. It looked today like um, the passing game started to get a little bit better, more in gear. And maybe they're getting used to your speed or whatever. Did you sense that too today, that the, their, their passes, they were, they were a little more efficient and oh, yeah. you were having a tougher time with them? Yeah, and I mean, that's what we love from yeah. our guys. Um, you know, we talk to them receivers each and every day. Um, you know, telling them what we see from our side of the ball, you know, maybe anything that can help them, you know, when we're going against our opponent. But like I said, it's all competition, you know what I'm saying? We just want to make each other better so we can be the best team that we can be this year. And um, like you said, the past game is definitely kicking up. Um, you know, they're making it tougher for us. They, you know, they're giving us different looks, um, running routes out of different formations and things like that, um, just making us stay real disciplined. So. said the key word is motivating because um you know we got a lot of young guys with a lot of talent um you know sam um demo ambry uh, all those young guys you know who were rookies last year they just getting better and better and um it definitely you know pushes us veteran guys to um you know lock in and just um try to help them along the way as well so just the talent level that we have on the back end you know just give us extra confidence you know that if something does happen that we can easily put one of those guys in and we can just keep pushing
definitely um, explosive, you know. Uh, it was tough, I can say that, just day in, day out, rehabbing, not seeing a lot of progress in the first, you know, three to four months. So um, they told me that it would come back like that, but it, it really didn't come like that. It was, it's still a grind to this day. So, you know, just definitely that explosiveness, and I just try to work on that each and every day, um, you know, so that's one of the one things I can say is probably the hardest. Did you ever feel like maybe it wouldn't come back, and now do you feel like it has come back all the way? The um, no, I, I wouldn't say that I thought about that. You know, I just tried to keep positive mindset, you know, throughout the whole yeah, process. But, you know, just trusting my trainers here. Um, they just did a fantastic job with me just, you know, taking it at my speed and, uh, you know, just keeping me uplifted on through those days like that. So, um, you know, I just had to block out all those negative thoughts and just focus on the positive and the positive outcome. Since you were forced to just watch last year, is there anything about watching the game, maybe film-wise, that you think you might have actually benefited from trying to, you know, use a bad situation for a good one? Oh, yeah. So, basically, the whole season last year, you know, just being in the playbook, you know, just having that extra time, I would say, just to see things from a whole different perspective. You know, see different guys around the league and how they play and how they might, you know, different techniques they use for different coverages and things like that. So, um, I would just say that time that I had off, you know, just getting deeper into the playbook, just getting deeper into other guys around the league and see how they, you know, different things that they do. I've seen some teams and, and talked to some players that feel like uh, when they have an, an injury like that that leaves them out for like the whole season, that they feel kind of like outsiders. You know, did you have those feelings at all or did you, did you was it feel pretty inclusive here? I mean, at certain times you're going to be away from them because you're rehabbing. Right. What was that your experience like? Uh, you know, sometimes you have those feelings, especially when, you know, you're not on the plane or the bus and they're leaving out for a game. But, you know, just a group of guys that we have in here, you know, they just always reminded me, you know, that I was a part of the team and things like that, like checking in on me, just, you know, outside of football, seeing how I was mentally and just seeing how my rehab and everything was going along. So especially within the DB room, just always had guys checking on me and in the locker room as well. So, you know, they definitely did a great job and I'm thankful for them. Is having a great camp, and I tell him that every single day. You know, I tell him that he just needs to keep going how he's going, keep progressing, and he can definitely be at Pro Bowl level. Like, I, I see that in him. I see his confidence just rising each and every day, um, really almost with each and every catch. You know, his confidence level just going through the roof, and having a guy like that going against every single day, that competition, you know, it's just an iron shot for her to make us better. A couple more. All good? Thanks, sir. Thanks for your time. Thank you. I thank y'all. Thank you.